how are you doing? Um, I'm Anissa, and I can see your name's Anissa, uh, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready to get started on this tour? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is the hectic fourth grade hallway, and we're about to go like do like the see like the small or is this a small group math stations? Is that what it is? Yeah, okay, basically that. <laughs> we are working on, uh, it's a division crossword puzzle. Gentlemen, what do you think about small group math? That's what we're talking about right now. I think it's really fun and you get more ideas and you probably learn more because if one friend uh, knows a little bit more than you, you get to um, learn from them. It's really nice to get to run small groups because you kind of get to see a little bit more of where each kid is at and you get to watch the whole process rather than just popping in at the end or halfway through. And so just getting to see them interact with each other, help each other, and me be able to personalize what they're doing is so beneficial, especially when you have kids at all different levels and in all different steps of the learning experience. You really get to meet them where they're at and keep a close eye on what's going on and just try and catch mistakes as they're going. So I love getting to do it when we're able to it's a lot of fun hi youtube hello we are in my second my old second block class classroom miss palacio's class um it's really fun this is like a really like nice and chill classroom because like you have like so many different seating arrangements like if you just look <laughs> although nobody touches her rocking chair can you tell us about book clubs like what exactly do you do what is the role we meet and we read our book and we make these things called our book club responses. I like it a lot because it gives you a lot of choice. Like you don't have to do like specifically a poster, or, like sp specifically a brochure. Like you can choose uh, which one you want, and I, uh, that gives me a lot of. It feels like it gives me a lot of power uh, in my learning. So that uh, that's why I really like it. So in order to make sure that our lovely students have as much choice and voice in our classroom as possible, we structure book clubs through our technologies. But it is built to be flexible and customizable to their specific goals and skill sets so they can take a little bit longer if they need to on deadlines or they can work ahead if that is something that they like to do. Sometimes we like to read ahead, don't we, Anissa? <laughs> <laughs> so the way we build book clubs allows for all of those differences um, while kind of keeping the class on the same page. Act normal! Act normal. This is um, our student portfolio where we put some work that we've done over um, our like the years. A digital portfolio is something that'll give you like a step up to like later education. Mine has like a, I am a critical and creative thinker and it has all my interests and hobbies. You can add like what you do in your classes. Like I said, it's customizable. You can add it like you can make it any format and yeah, it's really cool. Well, what we're looking at today is since we just finished our um, arcade, we're working on um, a slide deck that highlights the graduate profile indicator where we can apply what we learn across multiple subject areas. And so we're creating a slide deck to capture what we did with the arcade and how that applies in different areas. And then that's going to end up getting connected to our online portfolio. How has having your student portfolio helped you? Um, it's helped me organize my work and figure out where everything is. I really like about this how I can like look back in the years and like be like proud of myself of what I've done. This is the fifth grade cardboard arcade. Okay, so basically this is kind of like the, one of the maze games where you tilt it to try and get the marble somewhere. Our game is called Tree Ball. So how you play it is you stand behind the white line and then you have six tries to get a hundred points. I think the intent of this was to have some autonomy for the students. It was really important to us to have the creative process and um, voice and choice for the students. And I think we were able to really achieve that, which was really cool. Three, two, one, go. I got it. There you go. Seventy-two. Oh. 